Hey voyeurs, welcome back to more Diablo 2. We're in Act 2 now, let's see what Jiren has to say for himself. Greetings, honored traveler. I am Jiren, Lord of Loot Golane, and I bid you welcome to my Fairport city. I am glad to know that once again, caravans are free to travel through the Western Pass. For some time now, we have been under siege by an evil power that I cannot identify. Strange, it all began when a dark wanderer came this way, looking for the tomb of Talrasha. No one knows exactly where Talrasha, Keeper of Baal, is entombed, but it is certain to be far out in the desert. Now my people whisper tales of the dead rising from their tombs, and horrible creatures lurking amongst the moonlit dunes. Even I have witnessed things which I cannot explain. I've ordered the port closed and all trade ships moored until I am sure that my city is safe. Atma, the tavern keeper, has an important mission for you. Go see her immediately. You'll find her on the other side of town. Now I must return to the palace. I apologize, but I can't invite you in. Things are rather a mess right now. Yay, we got a mission! <laughs> because every game needs a sewer level. And Diablo 2 is no exception. Let's go and talk to Atma. I don't expect this of you, but if you want to help me, I would be grateful. In the sewers below our city, there looks a horrid creature that hungers for human flesh. The creature has killed many, including my son and my husband. If you destroy it, I will reward you. Please, be careful though. That beast has taken enough from us already. The sewer entrance is through the trapdoor, just up the street. Okay. Find Radimut and kill him. Simple enough. I always like taking this door down here. It's always right next to the uh, stairs down up in the corner over here. Unless the game wants to prove me wrong and change it this time. <laughs> they should still be up here, though. I can't remember if it's in Nightmare where everything's immune to fire down here or not. This guy's cold enchanted, though, so... My god, he's got a lot of hit points, though. <laughs> yeah, maybe I should try Lightning Sentry because Wake of Fire is not doing too much damage. Oh god, they are tracking me down. Look at them. <laughs> I might be in trouble here. Come on, die. Thank you. Nope, nope, nope. Alright. Let's get my Shadow Warrior back up. Oh god. Got archers behind me now. Shoot me in the back. Oh jeez. Really gotta boost up my skills. <laughs> I'm not doing nearly enough damage right now. I need a lot of potions too, let's see here. That's a good start. Okay. Oh man, I'm frozen. Still frozen. When's this gonna wear off? That's why I need that rhyme shield, folks. It prevents me from being frozen at all. I think I'm just gonna hide here my traps take care of this. Yeah, I definitely don't want to come out because I'm cursed now as well. Which uh, increases the amount of physical damage I take by 100%. So, yeah, I'm just going to hide back here. I think that's the wisest course of action in this situation. Hey, hey, hey. Knock it off you. Come on. There we go. Alright. Things are still not dead up there. Come on. <laughs> Maybe it's not getting to them. No, it is. Now, anyway. I think this has a better path hitting them. Yep, there we go. Um, are y'all dead? Hello? Anybody? Okay, good. <laughs> See, yep, it's still up here. 
was worried there for a second, but um, all is well in Diablo 2 still. They haven't changed it up on me. Let's see here. Who has my Merc in this act? Is it her? Good to see you. Why can I never I remember? Yes, yes. It is an honor to serve Who you. has my Merc? Oh yeah, it's um, Grease over here. Duh. And this is Nightmare. We need to swap out Mercs, people. Yeah. I bet you wonder how this town manages to stay safe with all the trouble going on out in the desert. It's all helps to you. Yeah. Greetings. All thanks to you, rather. Okay. Yeah, we need to hire a new one, but... Uh, we need to resurrect my old one first. I mean, I don't know if the equipment he's wearing is all that great, but... You know, it's better than nothing. Alright. Alright. Okay, I'd like to craft some new armor and weapons for him. If I can. I think I actually can. Hmm. Next episode, I guess. I don't have that prepared right now. Let's see, it's... Which one is it here? Defensive? My god, what is that name? Al-Hazir. Let's try out Al-Hazir here. Yeah. Yes, replace him. Thank you. Alright. Um, I think we can just drop this stuff onto... Yeah. The Merc's picture up here. Thanks for that tip, whoever left that during my original playthrough with the Necromancer. Still haven't forgotten about that tip. Much quicker that way. Okay, where are we going? This is a dead end, it looks like. Yep. Okay. And I don't think I'm going to be able to rush through and past all these monsters in this act. Or at least not down here in the sewers. I think that would just get me killed. Probably. So I'm going to take it slow. And actually kill everything for once. For a change of pace. Ow, ow, ow. No. Yeah, that didn't hurt too much, actually. What is my fire resistance? Hmm. It's pretty good, actually. Oh, yeah, I've got that mace with a bunch of fire resistance. That's right. Almost forgot about that. He still hasn't activated his aura. So I can tell if I've got the right one or not. I really wish he wouldn't uh, get so low on health, though. <laughs> That's a little bit disturbing. <laughs> Come on, man. Hurry up. I don't know why that is. I don't know. Sometimes it just takes forever for him to activate it. There it goes. Okay, he's finally done it. And he's the right one. That's good. He is the... Frozen aura merc, I want to say. So he's going to freeze everything that can be frozen around him. And I don't need to tell you that's going to help out tremendously. Because that means they can't attack as fast. And if they can't attack as fast, they can't do damage as fast. Or so they're still doing quite a bit of damage. Get down there. There you go. Do your job. Nope, don't see any good items. A balanced axe. I think that's a throwing axe, isn't it? Let's see here. No, I'm thinking of something else. The throwing axes are probably called throwing axes, aren't they? <laughs> um, yeah. Let's see how much damage my lightning sentry is doing at this point. Up to 165. Could be better. Could be a lot better. And I need it to be a lot better in this act, actually. Yeah, these guys are taking forever <laughs> to die. The good news is, um, the annoying parts of this act 
aren't going to be as annoying with the assassin as opposed to the necromancer because um, you know my traps can shoot through multiple enemies and my mercs gonna kind of block them off and keep them away from me so I should be able to take out large numbers of them at once you know given that I increase the damage my traps are doing those guys seem weak to fire to me so I'm just going to cast uh, Wake of Fire here. Hopefully that's the case. Ooh, more mana potion. Good. Now let's get rid of these uh, extra healing potions I have. Okay. Hmm. I never memorize where the second stairs are. Not sure where in the world those are. Let's see here. Are they down here? Please? Oh, the waypoints down here. This seems familiar to me. I think it may be set up the same way every time. Even though the maps are supposed to be randomized. Of course I'm talking out of my ass right now. Don't really know. So and this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> I can't rush through this part because I end up in situations like these. Wow. So I guess they aren't resistant to fire yet. I know in, uh, I think it was Hell, they were resistant to poison, so my Necromancer had a really hard time with them. Oh, jeez. This is going to be a pain in the ass. You know what we need? We need Lightning Sentry for this. Is this going to pass through all of them? See, that's why the Maggot Lair and, um, what is that other place? Arcane Sanctuary aren't going to be as tough this time because I can just do that. And knock them over like dominoes. I really wish Wake of Fire would scale um, nicely in Nightmare and do a lot of damage, but um, it doesn't. The reason I say that is because it hits so many enemies at once, they don't have to be you know, directly in front of the trap. It's got a nice wide you know, area of damage on it. Let's see here. Ooh, I need a health potion. There we go. What are you doing, Merc? Alizir, come on, what are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? Get up here. Okay. I'm just gonna skip past these guys. <laughs> Looks like the stairs should be over here in this direction somewhere. Aha! Here they are. How many levels are in this place? Four? I can never remember if it's three or four. What are these guys immune to? Hmm. Surprising lack of immunity so far. Oop. Burn the burning dead. Oh, here we are already. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna have to put down Death Sentry as well. Where is Death Sentry? Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, I need that up. Because Radamant will just resurrect corpses over and over again if you don't destroy them somehow. Oh god, my Merc! Oh, he leveled up just in time. <laughs> just in time. Oh, nice. We're down to just Radiment now. Death Sentry ripped through these guys up here. Need some mana. Ooh, he's got a lot of hit points. And he just killed my Merc. You bat. Oh, God! No, he's resurrecting stuff. Get out. 
I need to get out. Run! God, I really thought I killed all them with uh, Death Sentry. Guess not, though. Okay, let's get my Shadow Warrior back up here. Wait for this curse to wear off before I wander down there. Don't want to be taking 100% more damage. Okay. Yes, yes, I know. I found Radiment. Okay. Let's get that. Where is Death Sentry? There it is. God. Kept pressing the wrong thing there. Let's try to wipe out the rest of these guys with Death Sentry. Nope. Well, I don't think that got them all. I still see corpses down here. Here. Where, where'd he go? Oh, he's down here in the corner. Okay. Come up here, skeleton. Good. Okay, that destroyed a couple more. It looks like it's... Yeah, popping some more corpses down here as well. And there goes another one. And I don't think he can reach this one. Hopefully not. Not unless he wanders up this way, anyway. Alright, let's just try to stay away from him. Ah, what are you doing? Quit resurrecting more skeletons, damn it. Come on. Oh my god. <laughs> I kinda wish my Merc hadn't died. Come up here. Yeah, come come way up here. So he can't resurrect you. No. What is with this skeleton? It's like it doesn't see me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Or he just he loses interest at this point for some reason. Huh. I wonder if they're programmed to stay around Radiment. Mm. Come on. Come on. Oh, he's a little bit shy. Come on. Don't be shy. My lightning sentry wants to say hello. Ah, uh, screw it. <laughs> Fine, you can stay down here with Daddy. Daddy Radiment. Okay. Mm, I wonder if I can hide behind this column right here. I think he died. Alright. Okay. Oh, we get a book of skill. Nice. There we go. And that point is going straight into Lightning Sentry. Vengeance. Yeah. For Atma. Okay. Yep. Vengeance for Atma. Let's see. Herodric Scroll. Oh yeah, Deckard needs to take a look at that, doesn't he? They say that the taste of vengeance is bittersweet but I find it to my liking. In addition to my undying gratitude, I have spoken on your behalf with the rest of the townspeople. The merchants have agreed to show their gratitude by offering their wares and services at lower rates. Oh, Jaren wants to see you too. You'll find him in front of the palace. Okay. We'll talk to Jiren next episode. We've got a Good couple evening. people to talk to here. You have quite a treasure there in that Herodric cube. According to Herodric lore, the cube can restore a Herodric staff. To do it, use the cube as you would a scroll. When the cube opens, place both pieces of the staff into it and use the cube's transmute power. You'll be pleased to know that the cube has other alchemical uses as well. Yeah, yeah. Six gems I know. Sword, Skip it. Transmute into a Ugh. socketed longsword. Thought he had something else Great to say. Deals. May have just skipped it by exiting out. Yeah, I've got some, uh... What is this one? I arranged them in the order to be placed in a weapon or an armor piece. I think this one up here might be for a merc weapon? A pole arm? I don't know. Don't remember. But let's see if uh, Farah has any socketed items here. Let's see. Don't see any. How about some weapons? Yeah, pole arms. That's what I need. 
or my Merc needs. Hmm. I thought they usually sold socketed stuff here in Act 2. Let's exit out and come back and see what happens. Because, um, I think she changes her inventory every time you leave and come back. So, she should anyway. It's the way it's always worked before, so I doubt it's changed now. Okay. Let's see here. Nope. Okay. Hmm, still don't see any. Maybe it's hell difficulty where you can actually start finding socketed stuff? Hmm. Okay. Guess so. Sure don't see any right now, though. Let's give it one more try here. <laughs> you can tell I'm eager to make all these crafted and runeward items. Let's see here. What you got for me? Please? Please give me socketed items? Nope, no luck. Oh well. Let's deposit this gold. What is this? A Roderick scroll. Deckard! You're supposed to take that what from me. Thing? Let's see here. Heroic cube. Heroic staff. What's the quest log say here? Yeah, I think he was supposed to take that away from me. Weird. Ah, the lost there it is. Scroll. Jeez. What a fortunate turn of events. As the last living Herodrim, I alone have knowledge of its meaning. Now, to read the Herodric runes it bears. Hmm. The Herodric mages, after binding Baal within Tal Russia, magically sealed off his burial chamber from the mortal realm. Those same mages also crafted fearsome Herodric staves and imbued them with the special power to open the chamber's hidden door. After nearly losing one to the thievery of a rogue sorcerer, they divided all the Herodric staves into two parts, wooden shaft and metal headpiece, hiding them separately to safeguard them. The Herodrum foresaw our current plight and designed the hiding places to reveal themselves to worthy heroes like you. Collect both parts of a Herodric staff and unite them using a Herodric cube. Then you may enter Tal Rasha's burial chamber. Alright, that's it for this episode. I'll see you next time, warriors. Later.